What is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and this is my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I've had this thing now for about two months and I wanna share with you my in-depth experience on multiple points on this phone. So we're gonna cover 10 of them here and let's begin with the durability section of the S8. So the S8 has felt like one of the more durable phones you can buy, definitely up there in the price point, but it feels more delicate than durable. And what I mean by that is that it feels like if you drop this thing at any which angle it will crack and shatter quite easily so the SA does have pretty strong gorilla glass and stuff like that on both front and rear but this is definitely a phone that needs a case I think it's just one of the more pretty and beautiful phones out there definitely I wouldn't want to rock this phone without a case I'm only rocking it without a case for this video here so yeah, overall, it's a very durable phone. It's very premium, but overall, I would definitely recommend a case. I can't say this is one of the more durable feeling phones out there in terms of, you know, if it drops, it's going to be okay. Like that's more like an active series Samsung device. But overall, it does feel extremely premium and I've enjoyed every bit of its durability so far. So how have my experience has been two months later with that Infinity display? So this is one of the biggest things about the S8 when it first was released is that Infinity display and it's held up incredibly well. It's, it's a very immersive display. Now there is advantages I would say to a flat screen display. This is not the you know only display type you can get as a curved panel. Some people are not going to prefer this and I would say that I've loved the quality of the AMOLED per se. So rather the fact that this is a curved display or if it was a flat display I just like the quality of this display it's extremely bright it gets very bright and you know it actually jacks the nits to up over 600 nits maybe close to 700 in sunlight so you can see this in sunlight quite easily this has very deep blacks at night very contrasty and very clear on the eye so no matter what you're doing on the S8 everything is gonna look extremely sharp here like for example if you're reading about some phones here not sure why I'm not getting no you know text here but you can see if I load this phone up here let's load this up the text right here is just so sharp to the eye and it does spill over the edges just a little bit so you don't really have to worry about any bezel on this phone on the sides now whether you like the design of those curbs or not is kind of up to you but I gotta tell you right now my experience in the past two months with this display has been quite great only thing I don't like is that because there's a curved edge there's a little tiny bit of a rainbow effect that I see on the edges so essentially what that means is that I can see a little bit of color you know different colors uh, you know distraction on the edges it's, it's very hard to see on camera but when you use this phone you're gonna see like a little rainbowing effect on the edges it's very very minor but it's there and it kind of distracts me from time to time but you might differ but overall display is very strong here in my two months for the s8 plus probably the best display on any smartphone i have right now now two months on talking about that software it's actually been quite great i actually like the new samsung touch Wiz. it's very easy to use it has this nice convenient get to the app drive feature we just swipe up like that now it's not the fastest it's definitely not as fast as phones like the oneplus 3t or the oneplus 5 for example with its stock android but this guy over here with touch Wiz does give you a lot more customization and features so if you're a feature head you like to have all the features in one phone and you want everything jam-packed in the kitchen sink in the phone this is going to give it to you here with touch Wiz. also they have a nice selection of wallpapers here with the samsung theme store as well as the default ones that come with it so there's just plenty of customization you could do here on your galaxy s8 plus with this software in addition to that the samsung pay feature has worked quite flawlessly for me when using this phone and the whole ui has just been updated to go for a more cleaner more modern look and feel and i think the software is the best Samsung has ever done on a Samsung phone and two months on it still performs just the same it did day one when I got it so it's still slick and smooth on this two months later review. So two months on I got to mention one of my favorite things so far about the Galaxy S8 Plus and I've been getting extremely good battery life I mean like really good battery life this thing could go all day easily and it charges quite fast it's not as fast as the dash charging found on the OnePlus devices but this thing it, ch it charges pretty quickly and it has wireless charging so you can use this as cafes with the wireless charging hubs as also you can use this with the fast charger that Samsung includes in the box in addition to that it is USB-C so it's universal pretty much with a 
lot of computers that have USB-C ports for charging. In addition to that, you can get the fast charging pad here for this guy. And you could change the screen to mid, max, or off and basically save yourself more battery life. In addition to that, Samsung includes power saving mode. So, I mean, battery life guys, they've done everything they possibly could up until now, giving you a large battery, giving you a lot of battery saving features and a battery that does not blow up. <laughs> you know, I know it's kind of a uh, cliche to say that now, but hey man, it does pretty well. And I'm getting like at least a full day easily here on the Galaxy S8 Plus. And I think you'll do the same if you do decide to pick this phone up. Now, what about that camera on the Galaxy S8 Plus? And I can tell you right now, besides the fact that it cuts off a big section of the screen here for the camera functions, it's a very easy to use slick interface, has many features and more that you can download from the Samsung store. So this thing is really, really packed with features and the camera quality itself from this ISO cell sensor has just been incredible here on the Galaxy S8 Plus. This is probably one of the few cameras that I would take out and not even bring my full on camera on a smartphone so this one is uh, quite incredible also the way they have flushed the camera in with the body makes this a cool camera experience as well because you don't have to worry about you putting this on the table and scratching up the lens all easily like you would with those older phones that Samsung had with the bumped cameras so this one definitely is all around a better camera experience and for some reason even though it has pretty much the same sensor as the s7 it does look a little bit better i don't know if it's post-processing or whatever and you also get filters just like you would get on things like snapchat and things of that nature so the camera experience two months later has like i say been one of the best i'm grabbing this phone or my lg g6 if i'm going out for camera taking adventure Another area where the Galaxy S8 Plus has shined for me is gaming. Now, it's due to the fact that the screen is very immersive. You kind of just get immersed into the game. Also, this actually loads games faster than most Android phones that I've seen in the past. So if you're looking for a top-notch gaming performance device, this has been doing the trick for me in the past two months. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a phone that runs this good on gaming for an Android device. The closest thing I've seen is maybe the 3T. I haven't got the OnePlus 5 yet, but this thing is just incredible and if you guys are looking for gaming on android this is the way to go here as you probably might have already known that but i haven't found any glitches and hangs in my experiences in the past two months here for the sa plus so how has call quality and reception been on the Galaxy S8 Plus in my past two months? And I can tell you it's been very strong, actually stronger than I would expect. Samsung's in the past for me haven't been the best with call quality reception and texting and stuff like that. But this one actually is doing quite a bit better than my prior Samsung Galaxies in the past, such as my S3, my S4, my S5. This one is holding signal really well and probably one of the best in the market, to be honest with you. So call qualities and texting, that's going to be great for you on the S8 Plus, although it's not a dual sim phone here so you might want to keep that in mind all right guys so let's wrap this video up i want to talk about the pros and i'll give you the cons and give you my conclusion so the pros to me for the galaxy s8 plus in the past two months have been its design this is phone is a looker people have asked me what phone is that i mean this is that kind of phone here with the galaxy s8 plus until everybody knows about it and everyone has one this phone is definitely a looker here with the galaxy s8 plus also that display that display i mean we pretty much know this and you know as a reviewer i'm trying to remain as objective as possible but I cannot lie this is one beautiful display here and there's you know many people will agree with that probably the best in the market hands down now also another pro to the Galaxy S8 Plus that I love is, is expandable memory and water resistance I have used its water resistance quite a bit and also it's an extremely reliable phone this reminds me a lot of my experience using other you know Samsung phones in the past as well as iPhones in the past this experience is just extremely reliable here on the Galaxy S8 Plus you can pick this phone up and you can rest assured that you're gonna have a reliable phone in your pocket all day now what are some of the cons well I would say some of the cons are the front-facing camera is not the highest megapixel count also it does not have the widest field of view so I don't think the front-facing camera is the strong suit here for the Galaxy S8 Plus so for selfie fans I don't think this is the best phone for you also touch was can get glitchy from time to time it's just you know sometimes it just doesn't look as buttery smooth as I would like it but I think that'll improve in future software updates maybe here on the Galaxy S8 Plus and it's easily rectified with a launcher uh, another con for this is the fingerprint scanner it's not as accurate and it's not about the fact of where it's placed I know a lot of people made a big deal about its placement but for me it's just it hasn't been as accurate as I would like I think the OnePlus 3T OnePlus 5 have much better fingerprint scanners than 
the Galaxy S8 Plus. And to me, these edges actually become distracting in everyday use in comparison to a flat screen. Now, don't get me wrong, a flat screen looks like an old tube television in comparison to this new Galaxy S8 Plus. But two months on, I find the edges to be a little bit distracting, and I hope the Note 8 brings a, you know, a huge infinity display like this, but with a flat panel, that would be nice to see, especially seeing as you're going to be drawing on it and using a pen, but we're going to have to see if they curve the edges on that one. And in conclusion, should you buy the SA Plus? Absolutely. I think this is a phenomenal smartphone. To me, it's in the top three smartphones in the world right now. And overall, my experience two months later has been phenomenal excellent smartphone there's reasons why i wouldn't recommend this phone but for most part it's probably it's probably like a good solid nine out of ten for me and there's only a few nitpicking features that i don't like but what do you think of the galaxy s8 plus do you own one do you own the regular galaxy s8 what has your experience been like comment that down below in the comment section of this video if you were looking for a galaxy s8 plus and the video was helpful to you please do me a favor click the like button for me subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace.